Congratulations on the upcoming season of The Magicians and your renewal. I wanted to ask a couple of quick questions. Julia seems to be the only one with a spark of magic. How are we going to find out what's going on in the upcoming season? Well, we're going to find out the hard way, basically. <laughs> it's not, it's a mystery. And, and when we come back in season three, they're still trying to figure it out, really. Yeah. It's, it sort of defies understanding what's happening to her. And it, it's the launching point for her journey this season and also in many ways for Quentin's. That, that was very well put. <laughs> <laughs> I try. Now, what's going on with Fillory since they don't have magic and mm. they're trying to figure that out for a land that's full of magic and they're being occupied by an unwelcome force? Uh -huh. That's going to be some major drama for them as well. Can we say that it's a shit show on your... <laughs> yes, we can. Fillory's a shit show, basically. But thank God they have a boat. Yeah. Yeah. With magical oh. powers. <laughs> I was really surprised that they turned out to be evil. I thought they were going to be kind of nice, but twitster, tricksters, uh -huh. but they're kind of evil. We're not done with them yet. <laughs> they're you complicated. Don't they're complicated. You don't know everything. Um, they certainly. But you will. <laughs> to, I mean, they cer to Margot, they certainly seem evil. Um, we start to understand because they are just sort of mysterious and whimsical, but in a dark, cut off your toes kind of way. Um, and, and they're a big part of season three, which makes us happy because we love Candace yeah. Kane and she's the fairy wow. queen. Wow. Um, and, and you'll find out that their story is complicated and it's, it's not what Margot and Elliot are thinking. Right. Yeah. It's going to be a bit of a surprise. I saw someone cosplaying as two of them when I was walking up and I was like, oh my God, I want to stop and talk to you. But the magician, I couldn't mm -hmm. stop and talk to them. I know fans are loving you because I've seen people wandering around. Have you guys gotten a lot of fan love? from everybody here at Comic-Con. At Comic-Con I mean, is awesome. But we're also, like, anonymous. I mean, no one knows what you look like. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, maybe you. I... No. No. The show's got when I see, But, you know, when I spot someone who I think is, like, dressed like Alice or wearing a welter, or, or I've seen a couple Katies yeah. with the hair on the one side, that, it's pretty delightful. Yeah. Now, Sci-Fi Channel's been so supportive yes. of the show from the get-go. What's it like working with them and trying to figure out how to sort of make the magic of the show on a TV budget? Well, working with them has been a pleasure. I think that they understood the show from the very beginning, and they wanted to be partners that brought Lev Grossman's book to life in a way that didn't shave off the rough edges. Um, it's the second part of your question about bringing the magic to life on a budget. That's the thing that we struggle with every day, and that's the challenge, the happy challenge of producing television, is that you have limited resources, and it's kind of like season three of The Magicians. Limited resources, big ambition, you know, not much magic to go around, but you just stretch it as far as you can. I would just say as a fan that watches a show every week on Sci-Fi, it looks like they're putting a lot of money in it because it looks good. The costumes look great. Mm -hmm. The sets look great. I don't know where you guys are filming, but it looks like it is, it's another world. It's uh, Vancouver. <laughs> I'll tell you the secret. Hire people with really great taste. Mm -hmm. We have brilliant designers. We have really savvy, smart producers who um, are just good with numbers. But I, we get these emails from the costume designer of the next Florian she's dreamed up. And it's stuff we never would have thought of. Sometimes you just hire someone great and let them do their job and you try not to get in the way too much. Now I know it's from a very popular series, but you can't always take what's from a book into real life. What are some of the things that, what are, what would you like, what are some of the things, what are some of the things you would like to bring into the next season from the books that you weren't able to bring in from the first two seasons? Oh, the Munchak, the boat. I'm excited. I really am. Yeah, there are, there are some characters yes. that um, we haven't hit yet that are fairly major characters in the books. And it's maybe a, a touch early to spoil them, but I will say that there, if there are fans of the books who are watching the show and waiting to see certain characters appear, I think they'll be happy this season. Yeah. And the Munchak. And the Munchak, the boat. Well, I can't wait to see the boat. Okay. I cannot wait for season three of The Magicians. Congratulations thank on you. having one of the best series on TV. Oh, thank you. It's visually stunning as well as just feels real with the character's development. Thank you, oh, so, thank much. you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It was so nice talking with you. you. So nice talking with you. Thank you. Happy Comic Con to you. Yeah.